Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is another Sunday. The Super Bowl is in a few hours, and, you know, this with the Steelers not making the playoffs, it is what it is. But <clears throat> today, however, we have a mail day, and it is the 450 sub win from Alex Big Blue. Link to his channel going to be down below. Uh, he was the one that posed uh, the underrated comic questions for his 450 sub and uh, giveaway and I was lucky enough to win and he's very excited to see me open this and I'm very excited to see what's in it and uh, you know we'll just turn that ooh, ooh 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 we're starting off hey whoa wait a second now this is more than comics folks what in the world do we have here we have I am curious about this one. Sorry, I'll be back on camera in a moment. We have a pack of Wildstorm Gallery. What are you? Uh, hunt new gen posters. Just sign gen 13. Interesting. Interesting. And they feel non-standard, which I am a fan of. Ooh, I am intrigued by you. Do we open you, or do we put you in the box? I'm going to think on that one for a minute. But for now, it will stay here. And and I do love me some Yu-Gi-Oh! And sweet, a little little blister pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! Of the Shonen Jump. Includes ten cards and one rare card. Bonus. Only a DG. Dollar General? Because my Dollar Generals do not have anything like this. And it is unfortunate. But... Oh, we're going to have some fun with that. Fun with that. And you can go on the floor. Excellent packaging. I'm going to save that just in case I have to ship out some comic books. And we're starting off with a blast from my past. Hopefully a blast from yours. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's a number one. And thank you, Alex. He actually does a really good series of all number one issues. And... The one thing I will say, my comic collecting is rather limited for now. It will get better. I'm a huge fan of number ones. I don't care who they are, what they are, and those little janky packs that I get from all these, they do tend to have some really cool looking ones. But this, this, ladies and gentlemen, let me see if I can figure out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Saturday morning adventures there. See, back in the day. When all you had to do was worry about getting up in time to catch cartoons on Saturday. Oh, this is a beautiful one. Number one, cover B, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Who's that from IDW? Sweet. Oh, okay. All right. Stop looking at it. Get the rest and then look at it later, Zach. Ooh. It says, Mid is it Midnighter? Yeah, Midnighter, number one. Look at that grin. Hello. Hello. How are you? I have to say, I've never heard of Midnighter, other than I think he may have shown it on his his channel. But, oh, wait. Oh, holy crap. Haha, <laughs> double side. I didn't even notice this. I was like, this feels really heavy for a single issue, and it's not. But Brigade number, oh, see, look, first issue, old school. I think Alex Dunn hooked me up. Something fierce, but turtles, I like turtles. So Midnighter 1, ooh, the death of X. See, and this is the good thing about the comic community is, man, they, they really love to, really love to load up and get you, get you back into it. I haven't really bought or read comics since the date began with a 19, let's put it that way, but I really do need to get back to it. And Alex, you have given me some, uh, some series to look into. Shadowland Blood on the Streets. Number one of four. Ooh, limited run. Gonna be collecting that one. Man, look at the cover work. And on the back, the Book of Fate. <laughs> the Cutting Age of Magic. Hey, weirdly enough, that's coming tomorrow. Just got sharper. Buy it, fanboy. Someone did. And you know what? I'm happy they did. Buy it, fanboy. Get out of here. Number one. It's a slew of number one. This is 
a now officially number one best Sunday mail day. Ooh, here we go. Got some Wolverine action. The Days of Future Now. I really want to get into that series. I've seen a ton of them, and I really want to get into it because the plot line sounds amazing. First issue, number one of five. Ooh, and now this, I actually remember seeing in comic shops. Well, actually, it wasn't even comic shops. It was like little convenience stores uh, back in the day on the wire spinning rack that never seemed to not make a noise. Cyberspace 3000, guest starring Galactus. Big fan of Galactus. Maybe that means a Silver Surfer might pop up in a uncredited cameo. The first Spaceborn issue. Wow. And if that doesn't scream 1980s, I legitimately don't know what does. But, man, these are cool. And you know what? I've been sitting here. I've been thinking about it. And I don't want to wait. i got to open things. i got to open things. I've got to open things. The Wildstorm Gallery. I'm going to sit on that for a week and see. Maybe, maybe we'll put that in the box. Oh, jank. But it's not really jank. And, uh, I don't know. But Blister Yu-Gi-Oh! And I do, this might be the rare, because it's kind of foily, the Ally of Justice uh, Cat Cataster. Is that like short for catastrophe? But the artwork on Yu-Gi-Oh! is beautiful. One day I will learn the lore. Gooky the Blade Ogre. And they have such epic names. And look at the design. I think the Ally of Justice or Cataster. Oh, man. Neo Flamville Lady. God, that is pretty. Pretty. And I see Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know much about it. I've opened it before. I just love looking at it. Crusadia Testament, a spell card. I mean, obviously, it's going to be very similar to Magic or any other trading card game. The ba same basic kind of mechanics. However, I just don't know them, so I'm going to have to look into them. Impcantation Thanatosis. These are words that do not exist in the English language, although impcantation, you can see this little, little fellow there, a couple little fellas there, summoning an imp, could be. Oh, I love love good puns. Oh, here we go. Dino Wrestler Escri... What? Es Escrim... 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 Escrim He's a dino wrestler. That is winning the universe. Dino Wrestler winning. What do we got? <laughs> the XYZ Slide Dolphin. Look at that. It's a sea serpent. Oh, well, that's definitely something. Look at that. Flipper, Flipper done hit, uh, met up with Skynet. Ooh, another, we got a dragon. Dillinger's Dragon. Okay, so we got the little, uh, well, no, it would be Derringer's. That's... Man, I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around the artwork. We got the Altergeist F Fifenelag? Fifenelag. It's a spellcaster. Monsters your opponent controls cannot target Altergeist monsters you control. Oh, except for this one. Okay, so magic has something similar where it, it, a creature would come out and have what, what's called hexproof for everything including the player, but it itself is vulnerable. So that's probably what that is. The Handy Gallop. He's a pony. Look at him, beast. Cannot attack directly. See, there's a lot more to this than I can figure out. And our final one, Yuki Musumi, the Ice Mayakashi. I apologize to anybody. Oop, sorry, I heard Leroy. One second, we got to let him in. Okay, we have returned. He was tired of being outside. But we're going to go back to uh, Yuki Musumi. And I, like I was going to say before the boof from off to my left occurred, I apologize to anybody that actually speaks proper Japanese because I am just... I try to, I try to hack my way through proper pronunciation of various languages. And, yeah, you know, it, I, I sometimes feel I only speak two languages, English and bad English. I want to open you. No, nope, can't put it in the box. Got to open. Sorry, got to open. Bear with me for a couple more minutes. 
because I am curious. And if these are, ooh. All right, I'm liking what I see already. We've got, and these are the much longer ones. I know the, um, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh are smaller. Well, here, here's a standard card. I got one of the greatest gross outs next to it. So you're looking a nice little tall boy there of Hellstrike. Oops, here we go. The thing that I like most about Hellstrike, explains painter John Estes, is his flaming head. All right, I'll buy it. In this painting, I used watercolors and acrylic, and I was able to portray the crackling head with an effect you couldn't achieve in regular comic book printing process. I also wanted to depict Hellstrike in an interesting surroundings, which is why he's perched on Skywatch. Oh, man, some of these might... I might have to see if I can find some of these artists and get them to sign them, because these are... These are beautiful. You go there. We got... Who's this? Craven. I was going to make a... Actually, it kind of looks like an aging Mo Howard from the Three Stooges. Card art by Mark Teixeira. I've seen that name before. I think I, I definitely have. He was a good man, corrupted by power, says co-creator Brandon Choi. To him... The ends justify the means. National security and his ambitions are pretty much the same thing, and he wants to live forever. I don't know why you would. That's just me personally. That's that's why he sponsored Gen Factor Research and the Wetworks team finding the symbiotes. But each U.S. president keeps him on, keeps him on because he gets the job done. Well, ain't that the way of things? These are really, really beautiful looking cards. Oh, I like you. I'm going to get Siren. I'm going to look at the artwork. I have never seen these before, and they are amazing. Art, art, card art by Cliff Nielsen. Painter Cliff Nielsen describes his paintings. The drawing underneath is charcoal, and the painting is acrylic. Now, this is cool because it actually tells the art process. If you were somebody that understood art, like I am not, you probably are very, you know, you probably know exactly what this is saying. I seal the board with crystal clear and paint and paint with real thick uh, gauche, gouache? I'm not sure what that word is. After that dries, I rinse it under the sink and immerse the whole painting underwater. This removes the, whatever that word is in some areas and leaves it in others, letting the nature of the material do its own thing. I don't know what that is, but I want to learn about it. That is cool. We have undertow. Or Carter by Jerry Ordway. I was very pleased with the way this painting came out. You know what? I would be too. That's that's really nice. Says painter Jerry Ordway. With this character, I thought he needed to be dynamic and that he should jump off the card. He seemed to be a very powerful character. For all his paintings in the Wildstorm Gallery, Ordway used Dr. Martin's dyes and Prismacolor pencils. What year is this from? 1995. Um, any artists out there, are we from, are you familiar with any of these products or techniques? I know it was a long time ago, but that does kind of jump off the card. A couple more. Ooh, razor. I like the design. Uh, card by Scott Hampton. Painter Scott Hampton on razor. I like painting this card because I really enjoy drawing and painting females. It's always neat to take characters designed uh, characters designed in line and translated through painting into real life. In line. Huh. Razor is totally evil, so I played that up by having her reach forward as if to, as if to rip out your heart. Ah. Oh. Huh. Oh. Oh. I like the drawing. Not so much with the heart ripping. We got... Hellspont and Providence... Look at the look at the designs. I like this guy. Uh Joe Phillips. I know that I've seen that name. That's this is this one's my favorite card. I can see why. This was my chance to play around with reflective surfaces. You can see it in the pink in Providence's costume. Oh, you definitely can. Oh, how cool is that? Uh and the metal in hell spawns, explains painter Joe Phillips. Usually everyone has Providence very subdued, but in the last storyline she was very active and I wanted to show her more active side. I really need to look into this story because this is cool. Next, penultimate card. 
Children, avert your eyes. Actually, you're fine. We have Battalion and Synergy. That was such a 90s word. Synergy. Let us see. Uh, by Drew Posada. The composition of this piece shows Battalion behind and above Synergy, framing her with his heavy weaponry. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay. I did not notice that. Uh, did, uh, this is to show the Battalion is watching over and protecting her, says painter Drew Posada. Synergy is brightly lit in the foreground, while for Battalion I use spotlighting to give him a stoic look, reflecting the pressure he feels as Stormwatch team leader. Drew. See, it's a weird, like, I, you would notice, like, the different things you would think, but I don't know. For some reason, reading it actually makes it a lot more obvious. May, and the final card, Mason. If this wasn't a stereotypical 1980s punk thug in any sort of cartoon or movie, I don't know what is. Uh, ben Fernandez, Team One Wildcats, love Wildcats, artist Richard Johnson says, with a story set in the early 60s, uh, I was two decades off. I gave this guy a 50s look. Elvis hairstyle. Elvis hairstyle, black leather, cigarettes rolled up into the t-shirt sleeve. Please tell me he did that. I didn't even see it. Ah, uh, he has a jacket on. He definitely has to have the pack of cigarettes in the in the sleeve. My God, this is greaser meets Punisher. Man, that is cool. Back to it. Uh, it's sort of like Elvis meets Fonzie meets James Dean meets the Punisher. You forgot that part. He's got a couple of guns and is definitely a shoot-first, ask-later kind of guy. A real anti-hero. That, these are, all right, these are cool. These are getting looked into a lot more. But Alex, brother, I appreciate you. This was, this was, this was absolutely awesome. Comics, a all number ones. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to bring back some good childhood memories. Oh, some Yu-Gi-Oh! We got... Come on, and we got critter cards. This is my jam. We got a weird robotic flipper and a dino wrestler and these that I have never heard of, but I'm now completely enthralled by. Man. So again, art we're art art people. Let me know if this any of the stuff said here makes sense. But for that, or for now, I should say, I'm gonna wrap it up. Big thank you to Alex Big Blue. Link to him, gonna be down below. Make sure to check him out. Show him some support because he always shows support back. And we're back with Magic Monday tomorrow. I was able to get a box and a story. So we will see you tomorrow for that.